poor connection. It's live now. Guys, 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 guys. Um, so this is me now, from Chamisa on live Facebook. I'm just thinking here. It's very important for us to be in touch. I'm going to take this opportunity to say good evening to all. Of course, some of you are out of the country, not in Zimbabwe. Uh, maybe it's good morning. Some is good afternoon. So I say, how are you? All of you and I just appreciate that um, you have given me this opportunity just to listen to me I'm going to spend uh, this evening uh, trying to uh, engage on a number of views um, particularly what I think about uh, politics what I think about uh, issues to do with the uh, bread and butter issues work styles lifestyles play styles so this is the platform uh, this is your moment and of course take this opportunity to ask questions so that we share views I also put across my thoughts uh, you know there's this thought I have which is very important particularly about politics and how we should do our politics I've seen that more often than not most people think that politics is about uh, exchanging barbs trading uh, insults hatred you know this occasional blind side is that's not politics politics should be about the trading of ideas the osmosis and exchange of views the uh, exportation and importation of opinions uh, that ability to say yeah, this is what I believe in what you believe in I have a different view so that there is an exchange of alternatives there is an exchange of wisdom uh, there is a transaction um, of the best option available for the people. Uh, so I should be able to communicate with a colleague in ZANU-PF without any problem. So is a colleague in ZANU-PF who should communicate with myself being MDC without a problem. That's what politics should be all about. Policies on the marketplace of ideas so that we place them, we exchange, let the best idea fly and let the worst idea be buried and buried forever because it's not good for humankind so yes that's politics um, as far as I'm concerned politics should be about uh, cleanliness the hygiene of ideas without necessarily saying I should hate you you should hate me I should insult you you should insult me I should scheme against you you should scheme back I should plot against you you should plot back it can be a nation uh, which is full of uh, character assassination or counter uh, character assassination uh, you, I got out your eye you blot out mine that's not politics uh, we want politics whereby we are able to say hang on uh, that brother is on the other side I'm on this side that sister is on that side on that side I'm on this side we converse on issues without any problem so yes, this is my way of um, just saying uh, here I am and welcome to uh, my Facebook Live and Nelson Chamisa is my name. Uh, I can see that there's some uh, comments that are already there. Um, I'm trying to check the guys who have already uh, come through here um, on the comments. I just want to check your comments guys so that um, I try to respond to you. I haven't seen any I'm trying to open them so just bear with me uh, it's my name. Uh, I can see that there's some comments that are already uh-huh 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 uh -huh. yes 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 I can see there you know uh, uh, Jane 10 yes 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 um Panda, yes <laughs> Mkele, you are there uh that's excellent yeah i see emos there just joining us i like your comment uh wow 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 yes thanks for appreciating this platform like i said we just want to make sure that we are more available we are more visible we are more audible very strong 
you know, um, comrade there, uh, and also a very promising young leader. I have a lot of faith in Joanna. I see she has just joined us there. Welcome, Joanna, and um, I want to welcome all the other colleagues whom I see are joining. Um, Amos, my brother Amos, yes. Um, wow. Uh, thank you very much, my brother Amos. Yes, we're going to be doing more of this. We have to make sure that we, we move with the times and we move uh, in terms of uh, the things that we're supposed to do. I also see Tinashe, uh, Mr. Mushangwe there. Welcome. Yes, Richard. Remain calm, brother. Let them talk. Yes, wonderful. Thanks, of course. They are talking and I'm listening. Uh, but when I listen, I choose to unlisten certain things, and also when I hear, I choose to unhear certain things. So it's select, you know, what I call selective hearing. Uh, people can talk. It's also good because you know we are human beings. We see things differently, different perspectives. Um, yeah, uh, I see Gift today joining us. Uh, wow, Richard. Aha, uh -huh. remain calm, my brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just seeing comments and uh, colleagues coming through. It's an exciting one. Um, but look, we are also inviting uh, share with others so that they are also part of this platform. And we're going to have um, uh, this platform quite regular to discuss about you know my personal views, my perspectives, and when it be, also share some of the thoughts about the new Zimbabwe, the value system we want to uh, inculcate, the kind of alternatives we want to see our views on governance, our views on the economy, our views on the social um, uh, alternatives in terms of the social services, our views in terms of uh, infrastructure, institutions of governance, our views around uh, our international relations, diplomatic issues. Uh, those are the issues we are going to be also putting in place. We are also going to um, somehow find a way of sharing with you on uh, our governance models what is it that we feel has to be corrected but like i said the essence is not to hurt the essence is not to insult the essence is not to attack there's no need for us to attack uh, the incumbent uh, what we need is to uh, articulate and propose alternative views in fact uh, any government only exists because there is a ruling party and an opposition political party uh, that's what makes a government people make the mistake thinking that oh yes if you're talking about a government it's just one party the government has got two sides. Just like most of the things, they have to come in twos. You have to have a wife. If you're a wife, you have to have a husband. Uh, um, um, even animals, they have to have partners. Life is about twos. And even in government, you cannot talk of a government without the opposition. The opposition proposes alternatives or opposes alternatives in government. The government defines the character of those who are in the opposition. That's the nature. That's how it should go. And that's how things should function. And this is what we would want. You know, it is my view, it is my wish that in a new dispensation, you would have a head of state inviting the leader of the opposition in our own issue, uh, President Mugabe inviting President Shangrai for a meeting, for a lunch, a working lunch, or a working dinner, or playing golf, or even playing soccer, we need be inviting their political parties, the various sides, to discuss about how they view, in a social setting, the future of a country. It should be possible to even create a platform uh, of all overseeing political parties so that they are also able to come and share what they think about the future uh, of a country or the future of a nation. It should be possible for us to create a platform of dialogue. Dialogue not just of overseeing political parties, but also dialogue of key stakeholders, the business, the church, uh, traditional leaders, so that there's some kind of an anchoring end, a diary of some sort, wherein we are able to tap into the wisdom of our ancients, the wisdom of our forefathers, our forebears, those who saw the sun before us, those who have seen this world before us. They are wiser. You know, when their hair turns gray, this is the gray matter. Um, it comes with wisdom. In terms, of course, I know there are some when uh, they grow old, age comes alone. Uh, but in most cases, age comes with wisdom. And this is why we must listen to our elders in society, those who have uh, seen uh, the world before us. So, yes, that should be possible in a, in a new dispensation. It should also be possible in a new dispensation, my dear comrades, 
to have young people being engaged by the president through a basketball match, uh, the president interacting with uh, uh, young people at a basketball match, also playing um, a basketball or even playing cricket or playing soccer or just taking time uh, to go into some uh, community halls for dance or music. Can you imagine the president sitting there listening to Killer T? You know, Tagazo you know, that's, that's, that's powerful. Or maybe Wingy D, Magafa, Muriko, you know, that kind of thing. Making sure that the president is not only connected but connecting, is not only informed but informing. And that's what a, a, an alternative is, is about. And that's how it should be. It should be possible, as far as I'm concerned, to create a, a dialoguing platform. You know, a president has to be able to receive calls from the nation. Just call me time, you know, maybe for an hour or two hours, you know, on a public broadcaster, listening to people from across the whole country, even if you are going to be attacked. That is the nature of uh, leadership. When you are attacked, you are strengthened. When you are opposed, you are positioned. So that, that should be the kind of um, uh, society that we should look forward to. So guys, I've been doing a lot of talking, but I just want to see now um, the guys who have joined us. Um, um, like I said, it's always primitive to use hatred as a currency of transacting politics. We don't believe uh, that we should, um, uh, you know, hate each other. Um, high blessing. Mr. Makas is there. I see. Wow, there's Farai just joining us. Gift. Wow, 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 wow. I see a lot of guys are joining us. The uh, volume is too low. Um, the volume is too low. I think we must adjust the volume. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I think I've left to adjust my volume there. Uh, I can see, yes. Um, wow, there's also, as, as former Minister of ICT, you can enlighten us on cyber and mitigation issues at stake. Yes, in fact, at some point, I'm going to be very clear on what I think about uh, the bill that is coming. I've engaged the Minister. I'm also the chairperson, by the way, of the ICT Committee in Parliament, so I don't want to jump the gun. We are going to have our bite uh, of the cherry, and um, I will obviously inform the nation about my views, my thoughts. Having been former minister, I have a lot to share. I have advised uh, the minister, of course, he has not listened to me on some of the aspects, in fact, on many of the aspects. So I will also have the opportunity to give an alternative um, platform to say what would we uh, do if we were to be elected into government under President Trangrad. Uh, these are the things we are also going to be engaging. So thank you. I see um, that's in there. Um, there's also uh, Who else is there? Mm, okay, I think those are the guys um, That have come through so far, but I'm going to be doing this quite often just to make sure that um, we, we have all these issues uh, thrashed out on this platform uh, Yeah um, I'm hoping that uh, I'll probably do these things every Monday just to make sure that um, we are able to share views, thoughts, opinions, um, perspectives on the future of our country. We are the people. This is our country. And um, I hope to then get in touch with you uh, very soon, uh, possibly and hopefully on Monday uh, to engage on certain issues. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm still in the office and I'm doing quite a couple of things. I'm still working on the things that we have to be doing, uh, making sure that we deal with the voter registration. Guys, don't forget to register to vote. Um, young people out there, uh, if you are 17 years of age, you are uh, 18 plus, you are 19 plus, you are 20 plus, you are 30 plus, and even if you are 93 plus, don't forget to register to vote. The centers have been opened now, and we need every Zimbabwean not to be disenfranchised. I know that it is the wish of certain of our leaders to make sure that people are as uninformed as possible, as isolated and um, as excluded as much as possible. But we want to make sure that this is an inclusive, uh, an inclusive process. Every person has to be important. We can't all be kings. 
but at least we can all be king makers and we can only be king makers if we're able to register and vote yes we just want to have one leader possibly not a king but a leader whom we are going to elect and all of us have to be the lead but you cannot have a leader without the lead and this is where the jigsaw is um, completed for us to complete the puzzle let the lead define who should lead them i've always said you know it's always important for people to make sure that uh, especially young people they are in office if they can't be in office they must define who should be in the office and this is your task this is your challenge if you are uh, 17 years and above this year uh, going forward you we want you to register to vote uh, go to your centers the centers are being advertised in the newspapers uh, check on the mdc platforms uh, check also on other uh, ZEC platforms they have advertised the various places where you are supposed to register to vote you know i'm going to come back at some point in time just giving you an indication of the things that you would require if you are to register to vote guys thank you very much you know today was a great day for me of course i had the opportunity to go to parliament i also had the opportunity to have a meeting with a number of pastors bishops heads of christian denominations and also other political parties it was a powerful meeting we we're thinking about how we are going to create a unifying platform and a unifying voice for our nation as we go forward now it's, it's so it's so extraordinary it's so excellent to know that you have some brilliant guys who are in the um, church uh, sector or church community um, of course you know you, i didn't have the opportunity to meet with the prophets uh, who, some of whom you know um, um, but most of the bishops who lead the various churches were there from the catholic church um, uh, the Pentecostals in their various forms, IOJ, AFM, uh, many of them, um, UFIC, uh, the Anglican, um, Lutheran, all the churches were basically there, you know, um, and, and it was quite a revealing moment just to see that there is a common understanding, a denominator point, uh, wherein we are all clear about what we want to see. It's not sufficient to be against certain things. It's actually more important to stand for certain things. Most people are good at opposing without proposing. And I, I, I'm so happy that um, this platform is going to be used uh, to also propose uh, alternatives. Guys, um, I've seen um, 12 comments, but this was just to test and to make sure uh, that we uh, begin this uh, platform. And we are going to be meeting, I must say, um, we'll be meeting on this platform. Uh, preferably, I'll, I'll be doing this uh, on Mondays, just to make sure that, um, yeah, we share, discuss, uh, articulate the alternative blueprint uh, that we are putting across. A lot of people have said, we don't know the MDC policies, we have not had the MDC policies. They are there. In abundance and uh, we are going to uh, uh, give you a bounty harvest of those policies from the harvest house uh, very soon and we hope that you engage with us to see what we stand for uh, and also to understand those things that we are not going to tolerate and stand against uh, but we are going to propose more than we are going to oppose because we believe in articulating the alternative without undermining the existing or the incumbent they've done a lot i mean if you look at uh, ZANU PF, don't just attack them. There are things that they've done well. Um, the liberation struggle was a worthy effort. That is an honest endeavor, an honest enterprise, and we must appreciate it. all those revolutionaries, luminaries who contributed to the liberation of our country. Uh, merit, you know, acknowledgement and uh, honor. Uh, and of course, so are the organizations and institutions that were the vehicles to achieve that. But you know, vehicles are never a shelter. So vehicles are just vehicles to move us from one position to another. We should not then take political parties as our shelter, but just as vehicles. And that's what the parties are worth. You also understand um, that uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, we'll also be uh, appreciating the kind of education we have in our country. Yes, it's now almost uh, having diminishing um, aspects because of Mr. Dokora and uh, some of his policies but you know our education is a source of hope 
we've done very well. Those are things that have been done well. Um, there are also other things like uh, issues to do with uh, a very strong position on um, uh, marriages and also who should marry what, uh, issues around uh, Adam and Eve, Adam and Steve, those are key issues and um, there are some of the places, uh, I would say aspects where things have, done, have been done properly and we appreciate. Guys, um, I want to thank you. Uh, this was just but um, an opening one. We hope to catch up on Monday. Um, we'll obviously be telling you, I think the time uh, around 7, we should be seeing um, that we uh, engage. Uh, but for today and for tonight, I want to thank you. We hope to join. Thank you very much.